Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the JavaScript and CSS tips and tricks. In this video tutorial, I will explain how to count dynamically the number of items or values available in a drop-down list. I want to count the number of items in a drop-down list dynamically with a button control. So let's start the tutorial. And here we got the final output of our application. Notice count number of values items in a drop down if you check here i have three items here when i click notice that the number of values or items in the drop down is three suppose if i add here copy this one and paste and instead of green i'm adding uh, purple let's save this file let's save this file we'll check the output again now i'm expecting now we got three here let's reload the page now we got four items when i click the values see here the number of values or items in the drop down is four for this video tutorial i'm using visual studio code first let's open our folder which is a javascript typhoon tutorials and here it is our folder is added to the vs explorer let me expand this folder now inside this folder i will create one uh, html file called count items items in the drop down list ddl.stm and here we got the newly created html file is open let me minimize this vs explorer as well as i'm closing this welcome page let's start the coding part first let's add the basic doc type html i'm adding the html inside the html i'm adding the header section and below the header section i'm adding the body tag now in the body i'm adding uh, some div tag div div let's put instead of writing big curl let's add the center tag h1 count number of values or items in a drop down in a drop down after that i'm adding one horizontal line now after the horizontal line I'm adding one label element which displays the number of elements 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 let's add the ID so we require this ID count ID adding name is the count label after that I'm adding another horizontal line now we'll create drop down list which is a select option element select and this select element I'm adding is equals to drop down, drop down, small d. Let's do the small d, small down. And after that, I'm adding the option, which one is the, which is a select default label option. Second one is the option, option. Uh, let's add some colors here instead of uh, writing something we'll add the colors so first one disable selected so this select option will be default selected this select option is will be selected default and it's disabled second option is blue let's add another variable option green that's it now after that uh, i'm adding one button control after the select element i'm adding one button control button count the drop down count the values on the values drop down this is a button name and button on click event on click event which is a count values the button count values is a function so it's a javascript function let's copy this one copy it now we require the javascript functionality so here after this center i'm adding script tag let's define one function i am pasting the function name which we have created for the button drop down is equals to document first i require the document dot get element by id 
the select drop down copy this one and paste here drop down now we need to count variable count is equals to document drop down dot options drop down dot options options dot length drop down dot options dot length length minus one because the first option i want to i don't want to count then variable count label we find this count label copy this one the output will be displayed in this label so we require one count label is equals to document dot get element by id i am adding the count label countable then count label count label dot text content is equals to the number of values or items items in the drop down in the drop down in the drop down is plus this count i am adding here count that's it that's it we have done the javascript functionality now we add some styles here um style style padding around uh, style what we'll add uh, the div tag i want to not the div tag let's define the label label only i'm adding here label label font size is large font family is courier new and font weight i'm adding bold that's it mm, that's it we have done the uh, style sheets now let's save this file we'll take the final output of our application for that we'll open file explorer the folder i have created in the e drive in the e drive this is a folder javascript python tutorials and my file name is the count uh, count items drop down list this is the output and here we got the final output of our application notice count number of values items in a drop down if you check here i have three items here when i click notice that the number of values or items in the drop down is three suppose if i add here copy this one and paste and instead of green i'm adding uh, purple let's save this file let's save this file we'll check the output again now i'm expecting now we got three here let's reload the page now we got four items when i click the values see here the number of values or items in the drop down is four that's it in this video tutorial i have explained how to count the number of values or items in a drop down list using the javascript and css thanks for watching this video tutorial please subscribe share and leave your valuable comment we'll catch you in my next video tutorial